Good morning, my lovely K3B students. How's everyone's doing? How was going with your reading and writing and as well as speaking? Okay, so well, we have done a lot of reading and writing. So uh, hopefully that uh, you will read more than before. And please don't stop practicing, okay? So practice makes you perfect. So please uh, uh, read your book. You have three books or four books, so you have to read them every day or it depends upon your, your schedule, all right? So welcome back to our new lesson. So our lesson today is the best circus. Okay, so we don't have uh, uh, class last Thursday, so the uh, lesson that we were supposed to, to study last Thursday, we will study today. Okay, so uh, we are about to finish your book, so please uh, do your activities, okay? So please listen carefully because this uh, lesson uh, that you are going to learn today is not so easy okay so uh, anyway uh, if you listen very well you will learn a lot okay so uh, before we start to our new lesson please uh, uh, we have a brief review for the lesson that we had okay so here are the lesson that we had before okay the compound words so compound words, you already know what is compound words. It is the two, the two words that join or combine together. Okay, and they combine together, they have arrived to one meaning. Okay, for well, these are the examples of the compound words, and you can read a lot of compound words. Okay, there are millions of compound words. Okay, so if you meet them, at least you know how to read them. Okay, so here are the compound words. Afternoon, airport, armchair, background, bathroom, bedroom, bedtime, bookcase, bookmark, breakfast, butterfly, cannot, cupcake, daylight, watermelon, rainbow, basketball, snowman, butterfly, football, grandmother, goldfish, grapefruit, hallway, hairbrush, white ball. Okay, so there are some samples here. Other compound words what I, I have told you a while back. There are million of, millions of compound words, okay? So there are some samples here, like grandfather, grandson, granddaughter, Good night, classmates, sunlight, moonlight, and so forth and so on. Okay, so uh, please uh, be familiar with the uh, compound words. Okay, so uh, please uh, drop your voice message. I will check again if you can read this. Okay, I'll be back after a few minutes. Okay, kids, this is our new lesson today. Title is The Best Circus. Okay, so it's uh, this lesson you're going to learn different words or it is strange words to you. So try to uh, listen carefully and if you don't know the the word just uh, look at the pictures at your book okay so there are pictures uh, there are words here that uh, you cannot understand just see your book all right so uh, after this lesson at least you know how to read this story okay so here the title of this is the best circus what is circus what is a circus a circus is a group that consists of a clown Acrobats, uh, we learned already what is acrobats, okay? Acrobat is uh, the play, it's a play, it's a play or a kind of gymnastic, okay? So uh, we read about acrobats before, so I think you can remember that. So you know what the meaning of acrobats. 
and clown. Clown it is a uh, uh, what is a clown? A clown it is a comic entertainer. Okay, he's uh, most of the uh, clown they are boys. Okay, so most of the clown is a male. So they are wearing a uh, costume. Okay, or uh, he's, he's wearing wig, colorful wig. A clown has a big mouth and he has uh, exaggerated makeup. So he looks funny. Okay, you can find that uh, in a circus. Okay, so again, a circus is a group that consists of a clown, acrobats, and animals. So they are also animals or they train animals to perform. Okay, so they usually use monkeys, beer. Alright, so we travel around to different places to perform shows. So are they performing a show? Okay, it is a show. Alright, so that is a clown. So in this word, uh, in this story, okay, you can find different word. Okay, for example, the words uh, uh, so clown. So you know already what is a clown? Is smiling, jumping, playing, riding. So in here, so I uh, I will present to you. There are uh, uh, what we call that a present continuous. Although it's not familiar to you, so just try to to see the words, then you can understand. Okay. So present continuous are the words that use, or it is a verb use for a present for the present situation. Okay. For example. You are eating your food and I will ask you what are you doing? So you can answer me, I am eating teacher. If you are writing, then you can say I am writing teacher. Or I am singing, I am reading, I am jumping, I am cooking, or whatever. Okay, so these words that ends with I in G. Okay, so are these are words that use on the present, okay? So, the, for example, the word dance, you can make it dancing. You can say, I am dancing, playing, smiling, jumping, riding, riding, eating, and singing. And there are a lot more of words that use. Uh, or words that ends with ing, we call it the present continuous. Okay, so you will learn present continuous when you uh, will be in a higher level. Okay. So, but at this time, you just uh, focus on the, the on the spelling first, okay? So, a word with I-N-G, okay? So, you can find here. All right, so, uh, uh, the best circus I'm going to read. Then, please listen carefully. All right, you can find words that is uh, long sound and also uh, with... Uh, word with the consonant blend so please remember those uh, uh, reading pattern okay so uh, I will read first then later you will be reading uh, with me today I went to a circus show I went there with my mom I saw a clown smiling I saw a tiger jumping through a hoop I saw a bear playing basketball. I saw a monkey riding a bike. All the animals were very friendly. What a wonderful circus show. Again, so here, today I went to a circus. Circus show. I went there with my mom. I saw, this one is saw, with a clown smiling. This is not smiling, but it is smiling. It is a long sound, okay? I saw a clown smiling. I saw a tiger. Tiger is a long sound. Tiger. Jumping through a hoop. Hoop it is, uh, it is the circle like this, okay? It's a hoop, like a hula hoop that you are playing. I saw a bear playing basketball. Bear is a kind of animal, okay? So you know already what is a bear. I saw a bear playing basketball. You see, you can imagine bears playing basketball. I saw a monkey 
riding. Riding is a long word. I saw, I saw a monkey riding a bike. Okay, bike is a long sound. All the animals were very friendly. Friendly. What a wonderful circus show. Okay, so the word is smiling, jumping, playing, riding. Remember this, okay? So I will please read with me. Then after that, you're going to read by yourself. Okay, so let's read again. The best circus. Today, I went to a circus show. I went there with my mom. I saw a clown smiling. I saw a tiger jumping through a hoop. I saw a bear playing basketball. I saw a monkey riding a bike. All the animals were very friendly. What a wonderful circus show. Okay, so I will give you five minutes to practice this and after that you're going to send me your voice message and I will give you a score. Okay, so I'll be back after a few minutes. Okay, this is our uh, this is your task number one and task number two, okay? So before that, I'm going to show you what is a clown. So in your book, you can see the clown, you can see the monkey, you can see the bear, you can see also the circus, okay? So be familiar with this. Okay, for the task number one, you're going to see the word match, okay? So you're going to match the pictures to its uh, correct name. Circus, where is the circus? Where is the clown? Where is the bear and the monkey? All right, so uh, here, circus, clown, bear, monkey. For letter B, they're going to uh, circle the main idea. Okay, there is a question here. What is this story about? So it's uh, letter A, a great circus show, or letter B, strange animals. So what is this story about? Okay, so you're going to circle your answer. For letter C, uh, these are the details. So the question here is, whom did he or she go to the circus? Who's with her or with him? His or her mother? or his or her aunt okay who should we go who's uh whom did she or he go to the circus circle your answer is his her or mother his her aunt and number two what did the bear do what did the bear do it played basketball it played tennis Okay, and circle your answer. Then letter D, these are the word practice. You're going to choose, is it uh, uh, circus, clown, bear, monkey. Okay, so there are four questions here you're going to answer. Okay, these are the selections. Circus, clown, bear, monkey. I will uh, read, read, read for you. Listen carefully. Number one, a polar blank lives in a cold places. Which animal is that? Is it monkey or bear? Number two, that blank has red, red hair and big mouth, which is uh, uh, which has a big hair, a big mouth, and has a red hair. Is it circus, clown, bear, or monkey? Number three. I like watching blank shows. I like watching blank shows. It is circus, clown, bear, or monkey. Number four, the blank can climb trees. Which animals can climb trees? Is it bear or monkey? Then task number two, it is a listening practice, okay? So you're going to read the story again. I'm going to, to read the story for you. Then try to 
to answer this, okay? So you can find your answers in your uh, in your in the story, okay? So uh, task number two, number one. Today I went to blank show. Number two, I went there to blank my mom. I saw a clown blank, okay? I saw a tiger jumping blank a hoop. Number five, all the animals were very blank. Okay, so choose your answers or uh, read this story again so that you can answer this version. Okay, for the writing practice, you're going to complete the sentences here. There are two sentences and these are the selections. Okay, number one, I saw a monkey. What? Riding a bike. How do you write this one? This one? Okay. Number two, you're going to uh, arrange again these words to make a com to complete the sentence. What? Blank, blank, blank. Okay. What? Uh, wonderful circus show. Okay. You're going to write this one. You write here. Okay. So you're going to arrange the the words to complete the sentence. Okay, so uh, thank you for your listening and please answer this uh, properly, okay? So if you don't know how to answer, you, have, you, are go to, you go back to the story, read again so that you can answer properly, okay? So I'll be, I will give you, uh, I think, 15 minutes to answer this and after that, you're going to drop on our page. I'll be back after 15 minutes. Okay, here we are, the last video. Okay, this is your last video, your homework. Listen carefully. Okay, your homework is you're going to read the, cir the best circus again. Okay, so uh, I know it's not uh, you read your reading is not perfect yet so i want you to to make it perfect okay so please uh, drop your your voice message letter then at page 45 you're going to answer the questions okay so the questions there is a form of a game okay so there are six questions here you're going to to count all the animals here and uh, answer these questions okay all right so thank you for your participation and please uh, continue your reading okay so a uh, few more weeks will be moving up to another level so i hope that uh, you will be a good reader okay thank you for your participation okay bye bye see you tomorrow